Section 9.3, example 3. So we'll solve one more nonlinear system. x squared plus y squared equals 4. This might look familiar. It's a circle with radius 2. I sketched it. I gave us the graph below just so we could remind ourselves what it looks like. So we get a circle with radius 2. So we go out to 2 in both directions. And then we have negative x squared plus 4y squared equals 4, which is a hyperbola. And I'll sh we get 4y squared minus x squared equals 4. Usually hyperbolas, we put the positive one first. And we just divide by 4. So we get a hyperbola. y squared minus x squared over 4 equals 1. And I sketched the hyperbola to save us some time. I just wanted us to visually see that there's multiple solutions here. So you'll see my vertices are at 1 and negative 1 because y is over 1. And we get a hyperbola. So I'm expecting four solutions. So let's see how to solve this. So I think elimination here is easier than substitution because I think those x's are going to cancel out immediately. So we get x squared plus y squared equals 4 minus x squared plus 4y squared equals 4. And I'll immediately do elimination because I already have opposites. So it's up to you. You have to decide if substitution or elimination seems more efficient. So elimination is great because we already have opposites. So we get 5y squared equals 8. So we divide by 5, divide by 5. We get y squared equals 8 fifths. So y equals plus or minus square root of 8 over square root of 5. We'll simplify this in a little. So that means we already have two solutions. Um, we also know um, x squared plus y squared equals 4. Let's solve for x. So x equals 4 minus y squared. So 4 minus 8 fifths, because y squared is 8 fifths. So what do we get? 4 would be um, 20 over 5, 5 times 5, 5 over 5. So we get 20 over 5 minus 8 over 5, which is 12 fifths. And that's x squared, sorry, not x. And so it gives us two solutions. x equals plus or minus square root 12 fifths. So that means these all mix and match. And you can kind of tell from symmetry, right? We have a positive x, positive y, positive y, negative x, both negative, and then positive x, negative y. So we'll just mix and match all these solutions. So let's simplify really quickly. So the square root of 8 is 4 times 2, or 2 root 2, over root 5, plus or minus. And then root 12 becomes 4 times 3, so 2 root 3, all over root 5 plus or minus, and so we have four solutions. Let's organize them. So both positive, 2 root 3 over root 5, and then 2 root 2 over root 5, and then we'll just mix and match all those negatives. So positive x, negative y, um, negative x, positive y, and then both negative, and those are our four solutions. So again, the graph helped us get an idea of what to expect. Um, they don't have to be perfect graphs. We can just see that they cross. And we found all four solutions. So a substitution would have worked as well. Um, but if I see a quick elimination, I will use that instead.